In this video, I am going to show you how to create an online quiz using iSpring Quiz Maker, which is an authoring tool. That is a special software which create a special form of content that can be run on any learning management system which is SCORM compliant. And more than 90% of learning management systems are SCORM compliant. And this has a huge benefit for quiz creators. For you, because if you are an expert in any subject, whether in any commercial field or you are teacher of any subject and you create a question bank, a set of questions, 100 or 200 questions in any particular subject, for example, any competition exam or just practice test for any grade, 100 questions for algebra, 200 for geometry, and you create this question bank, you put a lot of effort, of course, then you can market your file. You will get a simple zip file and you can sell it to any organization, for example, any school, college or university or any corporate organization, and you can get some extra income. So authoring tools are very special and the content you create in any authoring tool are highly valuable. So I'm sure that this video is very useful for you. And iSpring Quiz Maker is a very powerful tool. It has a very simple and intuitive design. I will be explaining most of the features and you will love this video. So watch this video till the end and I'm sure you will get some value. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos for educational technology tools for students and teachers. If you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. I have made two previous videos about iSpring where I have given you a brief introduction to this authoring tool. It has many components and these videos are sponsored by iSpring thanks to them and today we are going to talk about iSpring quiz maker so to start iSpring suite i click on this iSpring icon and now this is iSpring quiz maker so we have to start from somewhere and the way this works is that every quiz question is a slide so first of all if i click on this introduction there are three slides here. One is the introduction slide where you can put some background information about the quiz if you want. I don't want it, so I remove it. The next slide is user info slide. And on this slide, you can collect some information from your students or from the user of the quiz. For example, name and email. And there are three options. You can make any field mandatory, optional, or you don't ask. So it's good that you collect name and the email because in these options there is an option to send the result of the quiz via email so if you have not collected the email you won't be able to send the result through email they can still however see their result so i don't want to use it so i remove this as well now the third slide is instructions for the quiz you can put some instructions for example you can tell your student that there is no room for any error and if they do a mistake their quiz will be terminated and they will have to take the quiz again so these kind of instructions you can put here otherwise the user interface is very simple which i will show you in a minute so let us keep this slide here now there are question groups and questions so if i click on questions there are these 14 types of questions available multiple choice multiple response true false and these kind of questions i will be showing you few examples here and then we will focus on some other features now what are question groups you can group a set of questions you can call them as sections but there is another purpose of grouping questions and that is to branch your quiz depending on the answer if a student gives a correct answer you can show the next slide or the next question from the same section or from another group of questions. So you can branch your quiz based on the correct or false answer from your students to any particular group. This is one purpose. Then there is another purpose of groups and that is that you can select any number of questions from any particular group two questions from first group three questions from second group you can do that so therefore you can create groups so there is one group here already by default when i started the application so let's create another group and now we have two groups and i put one group above group two and now group one is selected so i create a question let's say the simple one multiple choice question and now i will be creating a math quiz because most of my subscribers 
they teach mathematics but if you teach any other subject the procedure is same the only extra thing math teacher require is the ability to write math expressions and i spring quiz maker can write math expressions very well let us type some math expressions for example evaluate and now i want to type 3 cube to do that i click on this equations and now we have all these options for example this is script then we can use radical symbols integration symbols and some calculus symbols as well so you got the idea so i just take any example so let's say 3 and then i press my right arrow so let's put 3 here evaluate 3 cube and now i can put some options for example 9 16 and 27 now the correct answer is 27 so i have to click here so that this dot appears here so software will understand that this is the correct answer and now i can put the score for this question there is 10 by default and i can put some feedback if someone answers the question correctly i can show this feedback to them well done or anything if the answer wrong then we can put some other feedback and now this is the branching part and if i click here as you can see that i can branch this to group 2 if the answer is correct and if the answer is wrong i can branch it to group 2 for example so if you have a lot of groups for example if you ask a difficult question first and if you get a wrong answer now you start answering some easy question to see how is the situation of the student so you start from the difficult go back so there are various methods of assessment which can be used if you have the ability to branch your quiz so now i can preview the question and it will show me how my quiz will look on a desktop computer i can see in tablet landscape tablet portrait mobile phone landscape and mobile phone portrait so make sure that you don't put too much text so let's go back so after reading my instructions i can start my quiz and now this is how it looks so for example i select this wrong answer and click submit it will show me my feedback and also the word incorrect and it also shows me the correct answer as well but you can set these options whether you want to show the feedback or whether you want to show the correct answer or not we will talk about this in a minute and then i can click on view results and it will show me that this is my passing marks and you can set these passing marks as well and this is my marks which i got now let's add another question so i click on question and i click multiple response question and now i type a simple question and now i put few options for example 1 2 3 and if i want one more let's say 4 and now these three options are correct for this question and i can preview it again and now i can select the correct answer here as well and click submit and i can view my result so this is how normally you do you double check your question and answer by doing a preview now let's type another very interesting question type which is matching so i click on that and now i want to put a set of images in both columns and students will be doing a match so my question is match the equivalent terms and now i want to put some images on both columns and now i want to select items so let me select for example this point 5 for this column and for this column i want to select this one similarly let's select this one for this column and i select this one for the second column now for this one this for the first column and for the second column we have this one so now make sure that you put correct matches here so these are the correct matches and now i click on this slide view so it will show me how my slide will look like and now let's preview this as well and now as you can see that the software has shuffled both columns and now students will have to match them and the way they do that is they click on the first one and then they bring in front of what they think is the correct answer and then release and now as you can see that it is a puzzle like shape here this is my answer so let us put this answer wrong so i make it wrong here and i make this wrong as well and now if i submit it will show me the incorrect and now i can see the result so this is how this type of question works let me show you one more type so i click on questions and i click on likert scale so this is used to get some feedback 
so it's a survey question it is not a graded question so at the end of your quiz for example or at the end of your any assessment you can get some feedback from your students about the course or about even this quiz where students will give you their satisfaction level what we do is we ask students to indicate their agreement or disagreement with some statements and as you can see here that there is no score here so let me show you how it works for example i give my students this statement the course was well organized this is a statement now second statement could be the course followed the syllabus the third statement could be the assessment criteria was well explained and let's remove any further statements and now i will show you the preview of only this question to save some time and now this is how it will be shown to the students this is my statement and now they will put their agreement or disagreement level for example strongly disagree disagree uncertain agree or strongly agree these options can also be changed so let's close this preview and if i want to use some other options i click here and there are some other variations of these options available so you can select some other options based on your own situation or your own statements and now let's see some of the options in this properties tab if i click here i can give this quiz a title for example math quiz chemistry quiz 1 chapter 1 whatever there are few slide sizes available i can put a time limit as well if i want then there is quiz scoring here i have to put passing score 80% 60% whatever you also have none option as well then we have question properties and here you can select the points whether you want to shuffle the choices and whether you want to give a feedback to graded question or you also want to give a feedback to survey questions normally we don't provide feedback to survey questions so therefore this is unchecked then what feedback you want to provide if the answer is correct or incorrect and now let us move two of these questions to group 2 so just like dragging and dropping and now we have two questions in each group and now if i click on properties and in this section questions list now i have three selections i can select questions from all groups meaning all the questions from all the groups will be selected i can select questions from several random groups i can make a selection here the third selection is questions from selected groups i have two Uh, groups so let's say i uncheck this one and then i select random and then i select one and now what it means is that software will select any one of these two questions and there will only be one question in the quiz because i have excluded the other group and that question will be selected at random it could be first or second question but if i select at random and then i select two questions and because this group has two questions so at random 2 means all the questions basically so make sure that you make the selection correctly so that you get what you really want so if you look at these options carefully these are self explanatory otherwise you can play around and you can get the feel of what you will get and now the last thing is that if you want to make any question mandatory for example you want this question to be compulsory in the exam what you can do is that in the incorrect area you click on this arrow and you select end quiz and now if your student does this question wrong the quiz will be terminated so just like branching which i explained before you can also end the quiz if you want to make a question compulsory you can do this for multiple questions so now i hope that i have explained most of these topics if i miss something please put in the comments and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time